The next piece of hardware I'm going to show you is the flip disk terminal. This is very quick and easy to set up, and similarly to the 15-inch kiosk, it has self-starting software, which will install as soon as you turn it on and connect to your Wi-Fi. Within this box, you will receive the terminal itself, which is this here. You'll receive a spare paper roll, and you will also receive the power cable and charger in this small black box. To set this up, we simply hold down the power cable on the left-hand side of the machine for three to five seconds, and you'll see the logo appear. So when your flip disk terminal powers on, you'll be asked to select your location and you'll ask to be input your Wi-Fi details. To do this, simply select your location wherever you are based and then next and then enter your Wi-Fi details. After this, you need to click Start Configuration and it will download all of our self-starting software. So after I click Start Configuration, in about two minutes, our terminal will be ready to use. The first machine I'm going to look at is the terminal. You can see here, just to open and insert the paper, you simply go to the back of the terminal and lift the clip up here, and this slides back. You can then insert your paper roll into this. Once the paper roll is inserted, we close the top down, and we can tear off any excess paper like so. This terminal is now ready to be registered on our portal. Now that we've powered on and configured both the kiosk and the terminal, it's now time to visit portal.flipdish.com to connect these to your account. This can be visited on both your laptop or smartphone. You visit portal.flipdish.com, and you'll be asked to log in using your account. You input your email and then input your password and log in. This will bring you to your restaurant's homepage. When you open the homepage, it will show you your homepage. You do this by clicking on the terminal section on the left-hand panel. Add your new terminal. Name your terminal. Select which store you want it to be responsible for. And then you enter, similarly to the kiosk, your six-digit code. and the changes have been successfully saved. Now let me show you what this will look like on the terminal itself. Once you've registered your terminal, click settings and update your language and number of prints you would like each time you accept an order. You can also select to automatically accept orders and change the printer font size. And don't forget, please ensure your device is connected to the Wi-Fi in order for it to work correctly. Now that we've finished all the configuration, we're ready to accept orders. So let's test the machine out by placing an order now. We click Start Order on the right-hand side of the machine. I'm then going to select my main, which is a pizza, and I'm going to go for a margarita, which is going to be 13 inches. I don't want any basil. And I'm going to add this to my basket. Next, I want a drink, so I'm going to go scroll down the page and I'm going to find myself drinks and I'm going to get myself a bottle of still water. Once I add this to the basket, you can see it appear on the right hand side. Now I want to check out. Now that we're at the checkout page, all we need to do is click place order. And you can see that the EMV terminal is now asking us to insert chip and pin or tap. When we tap, the card reader reads the order. You can see on the screen that it's processing. We have approved the payment. And finally, the order will print out of your terminal. We can accept the order by tapping the OK button. And we're ready to go. The customer also receives their copy of the receipt. So that's it. Very simple and easy.